Hey, it's Yazi, and welcome to the last hero spotlight that we're probably gonna have for another four months. Bravo Showstopper is our first guardian hero. He has four intellect and 40 health with the following effect. Action, two resource. At the end of your turn, your attack action cards with cost three or greater gain dominate. Go again. The defending hero can't defend the attack with more than one card from their hand. So from this you can kind of see how this leader is going to be set up. It's going to be a leader which will revolve around being able to swing with massive attacks to deal as much damage as you can in the one go. Guardians will also have a lot of defensive cards so you can be able to get to those massive attacks with ease. Bravo's weapon of choice is Anthos. It's a 4 attack, 3 resource attack guardian weapon and if you have 2 or more cards in your pitch with a cost 3 or greater, Anthos gains 2 attack. Very standard, I don't see a lot of plays using this attack to attack every single turn with, but it's a decent enough weapon for Guardian, seeing as all your attacks are going to be massive hits, while this only costs 3. Along with those massive attacks, Crippling Crush is Bravo's first specialization card. It's a 1 pitch, 7 cost, 3 defense, 11 Guardian action attack, with the effect Crush. If Crippling Crush deals 4 or more damage to a hero, they discard 2 random cards. It would be very beneficial to drop your entire hand to block this attack, seeing as if you only block 6 of that attack, you have to discard your other 2 cards. Bravo will definitely be able to sandbag being able to use Crippling Crush and the hero ability to make sure you can only defend with 1 card from your hand, and then making you discard 2 cards from your hand for your next turn. And one of those cards to help you sandbag is Showtime. It's a 3 pitch, 3 cost, 3 defense, guardian action aura. When Showtime enters the arena, search your deck for a guardian attack action card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy Showtime, then draw a card. It's really good that guardian is able to have all these aura cards, which essentially is store cards for you to gain enough resource, or being able to balance out being slammed every single turn by your opponent, while you gain the cards needed to hit with your big attacks. And another one of those auras is Stone Confidence. This is a cycle card that costs 2 and has 3 defense with the following effect. While Stonewall Confidence is in the arena, cards you control with cost 3 or greater gain for defense while defending. Now the defense varies if you're using the red, blue or yellow version, going from 2 to 4. And just like any other aura, at the beginning of your action phase destroy to stonewall confidence. Personally I find all the auras a little bit too gimmicky, but I can see some decks being able to abuse all these auras. And the last card that I want to have a look at is Helm of Aizen's Peak. It's the guardian equipment that will come with your starter deck, that has one defense and the following effect action one resource destroy helm of eyes and peak your hero gains one intellect until the end of your turn this will allow you to draw another card at the end of your turn so you can set up either a big defensive turn against your opponent or another big offensive turn against your opponent during your own turn from all these extra sandbagging cards i can see guardian also going another way Rather than picking up all these big attacks, you may be able to pick up a lot of the generic attacks that cost less. That may also have go again, kind of like Scar for Scar. And then also having a few crush cards on top of that to be able to balance out the extra massive damage. That's it for the video guys. I'm very excited to start playing this game. Be sure to go down to your local card shop and tell them to pick up Flesh and Blood. I'll be making deck profiles as soon as we get our hands on all these cards, as I already have a lot of ideas of what kind of decks they'll want to play. See you in the next video.